entering this whole like um, modeling competition thing. <laughs> so I'm good at, if I eat, I'm gonna make a mess. Right. I'm good at uh, computers. Since I was little, I like designing websites. <laughs> San Lin. I am currently a PhD candidate at Penn State University, majoring in computer science and engineering, and I'm also currently a research scientist intern at Visa Research. Uh, so I decided to study computer science since I was very young, but back then, um, when I was in primary school, it wasn't so much because I want to do programming or I want to learn about algorithm or data structure when I grow up. It's mostly because since I was little, I like designing websites. So uh, then that was when I decided, oh, I, I like designing websites. I think I'm good at uh, computers, so I want to study in computer science. And that's what I made up in mind. <laughs> but after I started computer science, of course, it's very different from what I thought. I think when I was near finishing my um, bachelor's degree in computer science, um, I actually wasn't ready to continue pursuing for computer science as a grad, grad student. I did apply for it, but at the same time I was actually doing, um, I was in Taiwan, so I was doing um, my modeling job on the side. And when I was approaching my graduation, I actually was um, entering this whole like, um, modeling competition thing. <laughs> so then I got to the final round and then they were signing contracts with the remaining models. So at the time, because I was soon graduating, I decided, well, I was making up my mind, maybe I should, it's time to pick a career. And um, I remember that there was a day I already got the offer from the grad school program. Um, and I also got the offer from the modeling agency to say, hey, do you want to sign a contract and then you can start a career with me. And um, I was negotiating with them saying, can I go to school uh, for grad school and also do this modeling? And they were like, no, you have to make up your mind now. Um, it's either taking the contract or go to grad school. So at the day, even though I worked um, for years to, to get that contract, um, in the end I decided, no, I'm gonna go for computer science. Back then I was taking this cool course called data mining. So I was thinking, well, let's think of something that I'm gonna combine, which is my interest, which is fashion, and combine that with data mining to make me very interested in passion for my very first research problem. So the research problem that we uh, came up with was to use the data mining technique to actually mine the fashion history data in order to discover who are the more influential fashion designers. And we were also able, by just using text data, to trace um, the fashion ideas propagation throughout the fashion designers in the fashion industry. One of the most interesting findings actually didn't come from the very first uh, proposal that we had. Uh, instead, uh, later on throughout the years, I continued to work on the fashion research with other collaborators. And one of the work that we really like is we actually study the Instagram posts of fashion designers. So we study when a fashion designer is advertising their posts, do they talk about the item itself or do they try to build a brand image? So we study how different types of fashion designers, for example, more of the leaders or more of the followers, how they advertise differently. And very interestingly, we find throughout our study, the more leading type of fashion designers, most of the time they just have to build a brand image. However, for the following types, we have to really emphasize on these are the, the items that we are carrying out this season. So we can find a very, very big differentiation between the advertising strategy. So I think one very important thing for you to know is that even though nowadays most of the majors we have a lot of boys and a lot of girls, but once you decide to go into science or engineering, you will for sure find out you are the um, one of the few girls. <laughs> so I just want to tell you um, it's okay to be just one of the few because uh, it doesn't reflect your ability of being on this major, so just be confident and uh, you'll be good. Thank you.